All right, we got Sticky Gray in the building. What you say, Bobby Bruce? You already know what time it is, man. Big Sticky, man. Night in the six in my boat, man. Okay. It's our time now. F1. Uh, talk to me, talk to me, boys. All right, so um, I'm going to start this off in the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, when did you first start out getting into rock? Um, Pretty much like in my teens, you know, um, around 15. Just a um, few freestyle here and there. And um, mostly just with most of the man is vibing out to the music and stuff like that, listening to beats and just mobbing to it, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah, age 15 until now, I've just been doing it. Okay. Just rocking with that. So, um, growing up in the city, like, what part of the city did you, like, originally? So I grew up, um, I grew up in Eggman West, Killing Eggs, um, area called 33 Game Away, shout out to 33 Mandem, love, love to you guys too. Um, been there, my grandma actually raised me out there, so, like, I've been living out there for a bit. I don't live there no more, but one thing, never forget home, that's one thing about me, never forget home. And it's all about rebuilding it, you know? Yeah. So, just send more positivity less negative vibes to the area and stuff like that and this you know hopefully for the future you know we rebuild for the, like, the kids and stuff like that out of there mm -hmm. keep it going you know 100 percent so uh how do you feel about the music scene that's going on right now in the area that you're from you know what um i know there's a few artists that's um coming out right now you know sway shout to sway um kush baby's doing his thing um i know um up in duff and um miss loke you know he's, i know he's locked up and stuff like that he make his music, he was making his music stuff like that, but you know what? He do this thing, so mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so, um, how did you originally get the name Sticky Gray? <laughs> um, I lost two of my buddies actually. They dropped out in 2005. He had a gun, and we used to do a lot, a lot of, a lot of you know, young fuckery, you know, things like that. And um, they had to start giving me the name Sticky, so I just hold on the name just to memorize them, you know, think about them, stuff like that. So, like a, mem like a memory type of thing. Yeah, yeah. What about the gray part? Oh, I just had a gray for exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, all right, that's cool. Alright, so, um, what was your favorite artist growing up like that you're listening to and stuff? I'm old, I'm old school, so I'm, 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 I'm like Pointer Sisters. I don't know if people know about that. <laughs> but yeah, Lloyd Banks was one of my top dogs. Um, my three favorite artists was top, uh, Tupac, Lloyd Banks, and um, Dave Beats now. You know, so I rock with them. And um, right now, I'm listening to Sleepy Hollow now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's my vibe right there, man. Okay, that's okay. my vibe. Uh, so you mentioned uh, Sleepy Hollow and Davey, Lloyd Banks and yeah. stuff. Uh, if you had the choice of collaborating with an artist, any artist in the world, basically, w would those be the artists that you choose, or? They'll, they'll definitely be the artists I choose to, to okay. rock with, and um, yeah, pretty much. Okay. You know. But, so um. Right now, like in 2021, like the image is like really important when it comes to the music. Like, how how important do you feel uh, image is when when it comes to like dropping music? What do you mean, like my own, like my for just my... image in general? Because you know, like people, whereas back then people might have listened to the music more. Mm -hmm. Now all yeah, this Instagram and you, Twitter. You know, you know what it is. It's 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 kind of it's kind of it is different now. And right now, I feel like as us in Toronto, we have the limelight right now. You know, mm -hmm. and I feel like. A lot of people more does look at, look at the image more than the lyrics of your music and things like that. So for people that love the music, like me myself, I love music. So like, yeah. if you're not hearing my lyrics and you just look at my image of a person stuff like that, it's gonna be quite difficult. Cause right now it's the young youth looking at guys with the big chains and things mm -hmm. like that. And they think that that's it, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's kind of confusing for a lot of people. But you know, like shoot, hear me out, you know. Yeah, I feel that. So, so um, if you had the choice of. Sign into a major label or staying independent. What, what would you choose? You know what? Um, it's a there's pros and cons to it. Mm. You know, it's definitely pros and cons to it. For me personally, like I would sign to a label if it's like Rock Nation, yeah, you know, yeah, things yeah. like that, major record deals and stuff like that. But right now, like I, I feel that independent is mm. where it's at right now, and there's a lot of you know a lot of messy stuff in the industry, so. Sure. Yeah, 100%. So, um, right now with like COVID going on, how do you feel uh, COVID is affecting like the new artists coming up? Or maybe not necessarily new artists, it could just be any artist in general. Like, how do you feel like COVID is you affecting know what? them? You know what, um, it 
if you, you basically gotta work your way around it, man. That's mm -hmm. all you can do is work your way around it. It's all about connection, you know. Yeah. Um, knowing the right people to go to when, it, when, like, for example, you know, a studio. That's yeah. like you don't know if it's open or not. Then you have the right connection, then you're good, right? Mm -hmm. But it is for people that doesn't know it is difficult because I I, met, I talked to a few people, especially a guy from Italy recently. I just spoke to him, and he was saying like, you know, it's hard for him, like you know, mm -hmm. as a young artist growing up in Italy. Mm -hmm. It's really difficult for him, and um, it just he can't get to the studio to even record. So like, yeah. some people have it rough, and I feel bad for that. You know, like, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I feel you slug. We just gotta be grateful. You exactly, know, exactly. exactly. Instead, stuff. be grateful and just basis. What it, man? Stop, stop. So um, <clears throat> right now in Toronto, there's um, there's a couple of really big artists that are doing their thing, like Weekend, Drake, Tory Lanez, and stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like they're doing their job when it comes to? helping out the newer artists or the artists that are kind of, of want to come up? Or? Of course. I really, I, the reason why I feel that way, and a lot of people may correct me if I'm wrong, but the reason why I feel that way is like, I think as an artist over, like me and myself as an artist, like, I'm not here trying to look for no handout. Mm -hmm. You know, I think a lot of artists out here, they, you hear them talk about like, yo, Drake needs to do this, he needs to put on masks and stuff like that, but then again, he already did his part. Uh. I feel like he already did his part. It's for us now to take what he's doing now, mm -hmm. and then, Manifest and do what you gotta do and just reach to the top. You know, it's like yeah. you can't expect you can't expect somebody to say, you know what, here they just bring just you a sign, sign to a label right now and go from there. Like it doesn't right. work like that. And right. I think we just look at the easy, try to get the easy way in. It doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. Instead, especially right. when you're rapping about all type of politics and stuff. That's another thing that yeah. it's not easy for you to make it where you want to make it. If you're just involved in a lot of, Facts, right. of you have to make make sure your image is clean. Exactly. Bro, you know? Exactly. 100%. So, um, in your opinion, when it comes to all of your bars that you've ever wrote in your life, or it could be a specific song, what song do you feel like was like the realest bar or realest song that like resonates with you the most? You know, the realest song I wrote is um, it's called Unwrap. Um, I dropped that I think for the last year, mm -hmm. and like for for me, I don't want to get off the, the question, but for me, when it comes down to music. I'm a type of person I like to rap about a lot of different things. I'm talking about like what I've been through. Yeah. So I, there's no capping in my music. There's no there's no fronting in my music, you know. And the reason why the reason why it's like that for me, because there's artists out there that talk that and not really living like that, you know. Mm -hmm. For me, I from on rap, I talk about me growing up, one bedroom, my granny, my grandmother raised me. Yeah. Um, I talk about just different things from there. Um, but a lot of people gonna see more tracks coming out from me where you hear like my stories. Like for me, music to me basically like it helps my anxiety. I'm a type of person where it's like if I don't listen to my music and things like that, I'm in a whole different time zone. It's I like therapy to you. It's therapy to me, you know. It's a, it's a it's a thing where it's like if I'm upset, I can write something down and I'm like, okay, this is what I'm upset about. Boom, boom, boom. Write that down. If it's about a female. If it's about whatever. If it's about what I'm seeing, you know, like. I want to hold different time zone, you know, so like, that's basically what it is right there, you know? Any, like, mixtapes that you got working on that you, come, uh, that you want to shout right out? Now, right now, um, I'm not doing no mixtape at the moment, mm -hmm. but I am releasing a track called 90s Baby featuring um, Prince, Mark, um, also Calico Major, mm -hmm. um, that's dropping in for June, and Soiree is my next track I'm dropping. With me and future future major, um, frig, this is more coming, man. <laughs> more coming, more coming still. But yeah, those are the main tracks I'm working on right now. I still have more tracks in the vault, and yeah, that's, that's the main thing right there. Okay, okay. So anything you want to say in the outro, like a quick little outro? Shout out your Instagram, uh, all your socials and stuff. You guys can follow me on Instagram f one f ones sticky. So that's f one z sticky. Um, also. If you want to find me on Spotify, Apple Music, things like that, Sticky Gray. You know, I got my latest track out there, Jenny from the Black, that's doing numbers. Um, Imagination is doing numbers right now, so take those, take those tracks in, man. Don't, don't, don't look at the images. Look at the, look at the, look at, listen to the lyrics, the chat, man. Listen to the lyrics and my about F1 thing, family first, my brand. That's also another thing that's coming out, right? It's been out, but. We're rebranding everything, so look out for that. Shout out to 33, all the management 33, enough love. Dirty Byron, shout out my cousin, old trench, all of them, and everybody that's doing everything right now. We, we're going to the top from here, man. That's one for life. 100%.
So now Sticky Gray at 9 in the 6 and we're out. Ooh.